I'm gonna give you four key accessories that you've never done, and it's gonna drastically improve your weightlifting performance, and we're gonna start right now. Okay, hey, your jerks suck. You're pressing everything out. You're really wobbly overhead. Maybe you cleaned 205 kilos at the American Open back in 2017 and you can't actually lock out your jerk. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do that first exercise is going to be a kneeling PA press. So I love this movement for coordinating that upper back, that drive from the hips, having just good dynamic trunk control. So you can use this with a barbell or with dumbbells. And I like to do say five sets of seven to nine to really blow up your shoulder strength and your stability overhead and try to squeeze your glutes at the top and hold that position. Okay, here it's just gonna be boom, an absolutely phenomenal exercise that you can use to drive your jerk. Now, some of the big factors here, when we're looking at kneeling accessories, kneeling accessories have a special place in my heart, okay? No one else does them. If you see someone else doing kneeling accessories, they stole them from garage strength weightlifting. Okay, do this on a day three, when you've got about two days recovery before you get into that big Friday, where you're gonna try and lift really heavy. But again, do five sets of seven. Typically, I would recommend doing this during the exposure phase with dumbbells. Then after the exposure phase, you get into that comprehension phase and you switch over to using barbells. And if you're still struggling with that dip and drive on your jerk, you can then continue to build into the ascension phase with the PA press. So weightlifters, what are we trying to focus on, right? We're looking at snatch technique, okay? So we need to improve our snatch positions. We need to have the strength to hold those specific positions. And that's where all these specific accessories are gonna come into play is that if we can understand snatch technique and we can understand the turnover, we can understand punching and catching at the top and being stable in that catch position, that's gonna help us when we pull the bar to here to get under as quickly as possible. Same thing when we're looking at the clean and jerk. Okay, if we're cleaning and we have good hip extension, that good hip extension then leads to a better position. If we have an upright trunk and we're not leaning back too much, that's gonna help us get into that better position in the catch of the clean. And then in turn, that proper dip and drive has to be vertical. If it's vertical, then we can move our body around the bar. Instead of thinking moving the bar for our body, we're gonna think just stay as linear as possible, move the body under the bar when we're getting that split position or if we're a power jerker. And we need to focus on improving our strength in our shoulder, improving our strength in our rhomboids, improving our tricep strength. Those are all areas that we need to look at when we drastically wanna improve our performance. Now the second key exercise that we're gonna do from a kneeling position is going to involve our sweet garage strength straps. Okay, so we wanna get into this position, we're gonna load up our straps, and I would recommend using the garage strength pad. This is our single leg pad. It's specially created for single leg squats and for accessories like this. It's got a perfect density to protect the knees so you can do crazy variations like this and actually become a really great weightlifter. So the horse snatch pole was something that we used to contribute to Jacob Horse snatching 145 kilos at 73K body weight, which is unbelievably strong okay one of the best pound for pound snatches in the history of the united states and jake did that in 2022 national championships when he won the national title beating a dude who got popped by like 60 kilos which is sort of funny but let's get back to this so we're here and we want to feel the hips flexion boom 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 oh now, you get into a rhythm and you start to learn extension, pull with the upper body. Flexion, extension, rhythm, rhythm, okay? And this is gonna help you extend, pull a little bit with that upper body, feel the rear delts, feel the medial delt, feel the upper back, the traps work, okay? Come back, boom. So we're gonna actually train our hip extension and our glutes and our quads and our hamstrings along rapid fire with our traps. You can do this again. I would typically recommend start lighter during your exposure phase, get into the comprehension phase, push it a little bit more with the weight. And if you're still struggling on the pull, on the turnover, and I would recommend doing this probably on day three or day four, you need to have at least two days rest so the shoulders can recover and you feel nice and strong. Now, let's get in that third sweet kneeling accessory that you've never done. Okay, the next exercise is gonna help with those press outs. What usually is the issue with press outs? Tricep strength and shoulder stability. If we put ourselves in an overhead position 
and we can train that over a long period of time, over a long duration, that's gonna help with that durational strength characteristic. If we can lengthen the hell out of our triceps, that's gonna lead to greater recruitment. And there's a lot of research lately that has come out that even doing overhead tricep extensions, overhead cable extensions, has a greater motor unit recruitment in the triceps. That's gonna help improve our ability to lock out faster. And this next movement is easily accessible to everyone out there, especially when you pick up the Garage Strength single leg pad, okay? Available at garagestrength.com. Now, we got our sweet ZKC Tokyo 2020 bar along with our ZKC plates. Click on the link in the description down below. Now, we're gonna get into this position here, okay? I wanna get set. I wanna have my hips locked out. I wanna bring this down. Elbow flexion, elbow flexion, extend. Extend, and remember, we wanna squeeze through our abs, through our belly button, through our glutes. A lot of people, when they first do this, they'll go like this, and they'll, they'll fall forward. Or, when they come here, they'll go like this, and they'll, they'll miss that. Now, this is an entirely separate accessory, but we're not showing you that today. We're gonna show you this, okay? Hold those hips forward, get nice and deep, and do four sets of 12 to 17 reps for an absolutely crazy tricep pump. Do this on day two or day three, and do this throughout all of your phases of periodization, but I would probably avoid this during the summit phase because that's leading into a bigger peak, and it can get your triceps lit up. Now I know a lot of you guys probably have really vanilla programs. If you don't understand periodization, you have a coach that maybe doesn't know how to help you the best, if you need help with your programming, head over to garagestrength.com and pick up one of our weightlifting specific programs to help you hit some monster PRs. Now, the last accessory movement. This is an accessory that I actually stole from Brian Seacrest, one of my closest friends in weightlifting, one of my closest friends in general, and one of the best weightlifting coaches in the entire country. And we actually talked about doing this movement and helping with a power clean, helping with a power snatch leading to better rates of coordination, improving hip extension, and even movement patterns. And I'm gonna add a little thing in here that Brian didn't tell me about. Okay, so this is going to be a kneeling jump. Now, I'm gonna be here, and I wanna load. Here, boom, okay? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Here, boom, okay? Boom, now, notice. My feet are like this, okay? This is cheating. Put your feet here, toes up, or the top of your toes are gonna to be facing the ground. Okay, and we wanna focus on really rapid hip extension. Now the secret is that I wanna catch my feet in the same position where I actually will catch a power clean or a power snatch. If I'm a little bit taller, I'm gonna have my garage strength pad horizontal here. So I can go here, boom, okay? And I wanna get my feet outside. If I'm a little bit shorter and my feet don't go as wide, I can go here. Boom. And I can bring those feet in a little bit, but we wanna get them close to the pad. This is an incredible warm up. If you're somebody who struggles with making contact, use this to warm those hips up at high speeds. Rate coding is extremely crucial to being one of the best weightlifters that you can be. So if we learn how to hip extend at very high rates, that's gonna to lead to better performance. And if you struggle with that inside of your training, use the kneeling jump to warm yourself up properly and then lead to those better gains. So the other three kneeling accessories, those are exercises that you can do later in the workout. This kneeling jump, you can do in the beginning of the workout to potentiate everything. And again, if you guys need help with your programming, head over to garagestrength.com. You can pick up one of our weightlifting specific programs because remember, freaks, if you guys wanna become a champion, you wanna medal at Worlds like Haley Reichert, you've always, gotta cultivate your power. Peace.